Yeah, well, first of all, explain what engine modes are about. So just as with sort of any uh, engine, you've got to manage, you know, your performance versus reliability and fuel consumption. Right. So you'll have you know, <clears throat> very conservative race modes when you're trying to, you know, conserve fuel, trying to save the engine, you don't want to stress it. And then you've got qualifying in those points, you're either trying to overtake or trying to defend, and you want to crank things up. And this what is what they call party mode, right? Party yeah. mode, yeah. yeah. So this is when you're, you know, sacrificing everything uh, to get the maximum performance out of your engine. Mm. And these modes will affect you know, things like the ignition, the fuel injection pattern, potentially. So there's all these different settings that you, you can play with, and the teams will have a, a variety of them. Then the other factor you've got is what they call the duty cycle of the engine. So you couldn't run one of these engines flat out for a, uh, four or five races that it needs to last. It just won't be reliable enough. So you have to cut that back. And the teams have these complex algorithms to work out how much the engine's been run at maximum power, how much it's been run at high temperatures, and that all affects how much subsequently you can turn it up at different points. Christian Horner saying, let's get rid of modes altogether. I yes. suppose with Renault's your power plant, you would probably say that, would you? Or? Oh, you would. I mean, Eric Bullier said, well, you know, Mercedes has got their party mode, we've got ours, but it's only worth three tenths or something. It's, yeah. The music's not yeah. loud enough. Yeah, Horner would say that, wouldn't he? Um, because, you know, he has the Renault yeah, power. Yeah. But, there is, but does you know, he have a point, though? But there is a wider question here, yeah. Is, is this what we want? Do we want people turning up um, the, the power during qualifying or during points during the race? Do we want people turning the engine down and, you know, having to lift mm. and coast and having to punish? I think this is a much bigger thing. The, mm. the, the engine modes, I think, at the moment, yeah, I mean, I think everyone wants qualifying to be flat out. You know, going back to, you know, the, the turbo era where you would just crank everything up with the boost pressure and just hope the engine would last for that. I, I think there. we kind of want that from qualifying. Of course, there's this qualifying race-up concept as well, which is almost another story entirely. But I think potentially, you know, what we really want is, the, you know, maximum power through the race where the driver isn't having to manage the engine, which I think is a, a slightly negative thing for Formula One, and I don't think the drivers like it, the fans don't seem to like it. The regulations were shaped that way, but I think now we realise that maybe that's something that we don't want.